Awards are set to get underway in less than 30 minutes at the Santon Convention Center. We will be dipping into the proceedings where on the, here on SABC News Channel 404. Let's now cross over to our reporter, Tabiso Sitole. Tabiso, take us Thank you very much, Taylor Lugabu, and welcome once again to our viewers on SABC News Channel 404. We are out at the Santon Convention Center a short while ago, about 20, 30 minutes ago, on my right hand side, this red carpet had the who's who in football in South Africa. Everyone is here. The big boys, all those gunning for the PSL Awards, player of the season, goals of season, goalkeepers of the season. It's been an outstanding evening as we've come to you earlier. I'm sure Simon Berg had a little bit from us from down here. In fact, Sports Live a short while ago had exactly that, the red carpet and all the glitz and glamour from the, well, PSL Sports World for the 2016-2017 season. It's going to be an exciting evening. But tell you what, I'm not alone. Andling will be standing by just across the street from, in fact, about a couple of meters away from Andile, it's expected to be a night of, in fact, you mentioned it earlier, the night of the underdogs, was it, or the night of the newcomers to the PSL? Over to you. Tabiso, thank you very much. It is indeed going to be one of those evenings where the underdogs of the PSL are celebrated. I mean, we saw this season Cape Town City come from the ashes and do ever so well, claiming a trophy in their first season and challenging for the honours of the league as well. But of course, we also saw Bedford Vitz in their history, the oldest team in the PSL claiming glory for the very first time, adding a new name to that PSL trophy. But the that I'm most looking forward to is going to be goal of the season. That one, for the first time this year, was voted for by you. Sitting at home, you decided that you wanted to see two of Spio Shabalala's goals as nominees. And of course, that amazing goal that trended around the world from Oscarin Masuluga of Baroka FC, the goalkeeper who scissored his way into glory. So those are the three. Spio Shabalala needed two goals to be able to compete with that Oscarini goal. That's going to be an exciting one. But also, it is leadership that has been accounted for. It is leadership that has been uh, given that big ka moment here at the awards as the three captains are nominated for football of the season. We do have Trumpo Kekan of Mamluri Sundowns, Lebo Hang Manyama, Cape Town City, and of course as well Tyson Slatoy of Bidvitz Vitz. Those are some of the awards that I'm looking forward to. The glitz and the glamour. The red carpet has come to an end and now we open it up for the boys that wore shorts the whole year round. <laughs> Thank you indeed. The Andy Well, you mentioned something special, but are two goals that are nominated. But funny thing is, this season, there are no big teams. There is no Orlando Pirates. There's no Kaiser Chiefs. There's no Mamelodi Sundowns. And as far as the big awards are concerned, but again, it's been an outstanding season. The one thing that I heard the sports minister of South Africa say a short while ago when we spoke to him on the red carpet is that he's a bit worried that there are not that many goals. There's not made many in terms of strikers finish off in front of goals. I think the leading goal scorer has got only 13 goals this season. But anyway, maybe there's something that we can fix in the season coming up. But I tell you what, to our viewers in SABC News Channel 44, stay with us. We kick off proceedings in about 25, 26 minutes time right here from the Santon Convention Center. The big boys have come out to play in football. Well, they're not wearing shorts this time. They're all in their black and whites and all their shindigs. But you've come to the right place. So the 52 countries joining us from across the continent, please do stay with us on SABC News Channel, Africa's news leader. Back to you, Lulu. And that was our sports reporter, Stabi Sose Tole, and uh, our sports presenter, uh, Andy Lengmube, speaking to us live from the 2017 PSL Awards in Santon um, that have just uh, started.